Hello everyone, welcome to MS Siddiqui Standard Institution's YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about heat pump VRF heating mode. I have explained about cooling mode operation of heat pump VRF. VRF is variable refrigerant flow or variable refrigerant volume systems. Okay, here we are controlling the flow of refrigerant. With this, we are making an energy saving system, HVAC system. Okay, how we are doing? We are using in heat pump, we are using four-way reversing valve and an NRV. Combo of NRV and four-way reversing valve is playing a major role to carry out heating and cooling operation. I am explaining you heating mode. Okay, how it been, how it has been carried out? Keep in mind one thing that condenser acts as evaporator. Evaporator acts as condenser. The process gets reversed with the help of four-way reversing valve. How? Let's see. In our this is our refrigeration cycle altogether for heat pump VRF heating mode DC inverter compressor we are using why we are using DC inverter compressor to regulate the flow of refrigerant why to regulate the flow of refrigerant for energy saving okay and different IDUs have different capacities different TR different CFM and mounting details everything is different in VRF VRV that's the major important point of this system okay that's what it makes it unique so this DC inverter compressor what it is doing it is uh, taking the refrigerant in from the accumulator okay medium temperature medium pressure gas is getting into the inverter compressor inverter compressor or any compressor does three things suction compression discharge it sucks the refrigerant from the evaporator or IDU and it will be taken into the accumulator such that the condensed gas must not enter from accumulator to DC inverter so accumulator withholds oil and condensed gas it just transfers pure gas without condensed in it so this gas enters into the compressor because it's a suction line of the compressor and the oil gets back into the crankcase of your inverter compressor via your accumulator okay so here the compressor what it is doing it has sucked the uh, refrigerant which is in gas state it is compressing it why to compress to increase the pressure of the refrigerant and then this compressor will discharge the refrigerant at high temperature high pressure hot gas plus oil gets out because of high pressure this oil will be uh, taken uh, taken or stored or taken or stored from the oil separator it separates the oil and the hot gas it sends back the hot gas for further cycle and sends back and that oil which it has accumulated will be sent again back to the compressor crankcase from here the hot gas proceeds it goes to the four-way reversing valve over here what is happening switching of mode is taking place here the mode is heating mode so at heating mode the compressor from the compressor to the oil separator from oil separator the high temperature high pressure hot gas is not going to condenser usually it goes to condenser in the refrigeration cycle here it is not going to condenser from here we are giving it directly this high temperature high pressure hot gas high temperature high pressure hot gas to our indoor units directly we are giving it to indoor units why we have to heat that space we don't have to cool that space already its temperature is very low to increase the temperature to maintain a controlled 22 degree celsius temperature what we are doing we are sending this high temperature high pressure hot gas directly to the refrigerant you see from here from the four-way reversing valve just follow my pen okay it is going 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 over here it has entered into idu1 with the same main pipe to a branch pipe idu2 with a main pump pipe to the branch refrigerant pipe idu3 so in all the three hex heat exchanging coils okay heat exchanging coil one two three in these three coils what has got entered high temperature high pressure hot gas is entered why because we have to give heat to the system and takes back the cooling of the room to maintain a temperature of 22 degree celsius so there heat transfer takes place between the coil and the room so heat is higher the coil is higher body temperature room is lower body temperature the coil rejects its heat to the room with that what will happen the gas can get condensed within the coil because it transfers from hot gas high temperature high pressure to uh, condensate liquid it converts to condensed liquid this condensed liquid it's traveling what entered here it has entered 
hot gas entered hot gas entered hot gas it is carrying out within the coil and rejecting its heat uh, to the room and the room has maintained the 22 degree celsius temperature now due to heat exchange between the coil and the room air what had happened that hot gas converted into condensed gas this condensed gas when it is coming out of the idu it will not go to the eev it will not transfer into the eev it will not enter into the eev electronic expansion valve why because the placement of the nrv is just the same as the directional flow of the refrigerant which is coming out from the idu means the direction of refrigerant and the direction of nrv is the same so nrv automatically non return valve gets open and your condensed liquid condensed liquid condensed liquid comes out from the nrv and here medium temperature medium pressure condensed liquid will come back will come back from here from here from here from here okay and this is the main pipe for condensed liquid this condensed liquid is traveling it will not travel from the eev evi because this sensor sends the condensed gas but right now the uh, stage the, the stage of the refrigerant is condensed liquid it's not condensed gas that's why evi evi what is evi enhanced vapor injection sensor will not turn on the valve because the state the state of the refrigerant is condensed liquid so it will not travel over here so directly it will be entering into the phe without any heat exchange without any heat exchange and it will goes back into oh, your eev electronic expansion valve here nrv flow of refrigerant is opposing nrv therefore therefore there will not be any flow from the nrv so the refrigerant travels from the eev it will not travel from the nrv understanding it will not travel from the nrv it travels from the eev electronic expansion valve what it does it again decreases the pressure of the refrigerant as the pressure of temperature refrigerant decreases temperature also gets decreased this decreased temperature converts your condensed liquid into liquid refrigerant okay this liquid refrigerant enters into your condenser which is acting like an evaporator so liquid refrigerant entered low temperature low pressure into a condenser what will happen here the refrigerant which entered into the coil is low temperature body okay and it is at outdoor okay outdoor temperature is slightly more than the refrigerant temperature which is in liquid state heat transfer takes place outdoor heat will be rejected into the coil due to that this liquid refrigerant will convert into gas what had entered liquid refrigerant entered into condenser due to this what happened it the outdoor outdoor atmospheric temperature is been rejected to your condenser which is uh, in this coil what we are getting liquid refrigerant this liquid refrigerant converts into condensed gas this condensed gas is being given back to your accumulator condensed gas is being accumulated or stored in your accumulator what is condensed gas large amount of gas less amount of moisture or fluid what is condensed liquid large amount of liquid less amount of gas in it so here this condensed gas from your condenser will be accumulated in your accumulator okay what will happen over here this condensed gas has to be converted into to the pure gas how we can convert it into pure gas by adding heat to it how we are adding heat from here from here we are giving a bypass of hot gas we need heat here to convert the condensed gas to pure gas so what we have to pass we have to give away the hot gas solenoid this valve is hot solenoid valve as the temperature of the gas is increased automatically valve gets open from here the hot gas travels and a coil is been placed to reduce the pressure of the gas because we are taking it from the discharge line of the compressor and the discharge line of compressor is high pressure to decrease the pressure we are keeping a coil it is passing the coil and the temperature of the high temperature high pressure gas is slightly reduced and when it entered into your accumulator the condensed gas converts into the pure gas this pure gas again comes back to your compressor with this your refrigeration cycle of heating mode vrf gets complete 
okay and what these two things are these are nothing but the oil pipes from accumulator whatever the oil it has accumulated will be given back to the crankcase of the compressor from the oil separator whatever the oil which has been stored separated from the hot gas is been again transferred into your dc inverter compressor that's how the heating is been provided in every indoor unit with the help of the switching mode of four way reversing valve and with dual operation of non return valve with this they are we are achieving we are achieving proper heating mode of heat pump vrf system again i am giving an overview inverter compressor hot gas is coming out to oil separator oil is been given back to crankcase from oil separator hot gas is been traveled to four way reversing valve from four way reversing valve hot gas is not been given to condenser because it is it is for cooling process we are about to heat so this particular hot gas will not go to condenser from here it will be directly being given to our indoor units from main pipe main pipe and branch pipe main branch main branch given to indoor units hot gas has been given heat exchange take place in the room with that what will happen hot gas converts into condensed liquid this condensed liquid will pass through nrv it will not pass through eev because flow of refrigerant in direction of nrv is same so it will pass via nrv it will pass via nrv what is passing condensed liquid condensed liquid is coming from the nrv this condensed liquid is coming via nrv it will not enter into evi because it is condensed liquids it's not condensed gas again this condensed gas will keep on going from phe but there will not be any heat exchange because there is no lower uh, what temperature body or higher temperature body so there is no heat exchange so directly from phe it will pass what will pass condensed liquid this condensed liquid will not enter into nrv because the direction of flow of refrigerant is opposite to the direction of the nrv placement so directly our condensed liquid will pass through eev electronic expansion valve electronic expansion valve will reduce the pressure of the refrigerant and this reduced pressure which converted into liquid refrigerant here we what has entered condensed liquid what we are getting liquid refrigerant this liquid refrigerant will pass through condenser condenser acts as evaporator here heat exchange take place due to heat exchange liquid refrigerant converts into condensed gas this condensed gas will be directly given to accumulator in accumulator we have condensed gas this condensed gas has to be converted into pure gas for that we are taking a branch connection from the hot gas high pressure high temperature pipeline and giving it back to giving it back to your accumulator this is how we are again getting a pure gas into the dc inverter compressor that's how heating mode of heat pump vrf is clearly explained my next video will be on heat recovery vrf mcu mode control unit or branch controllers and on all the modes of operation of heat recovery vrf thanks everyone for watching this video please do like subscribe share our youtube channel it will motivate us and we will be coming up with lots of more technical videos on all electromechanical works thank you